Welcome everyone to this video. This is a very, very special video where we're filming in a straw bale cottage. This cottage is made with straw bales, thick straw bales, and then plastered with earthen materials. I'm not sure exactly what this plaster is made out of, but it probably includes clay, um, perhaps gypsum, limestone, and different earthen materials like that. And this particular straw bale is made out of a post and beam structure. So it's first framed by wood and then filled in with straw bale and then plastered over with earthen materials. It is absolutely beautiful and um, I've showed you a little bit of it in the intro and we are so blessed to be able to film here today. It's incredibly quiet here. 
there's really no sounds. You can't even hear the nature sounds outside very much because the straw bale uh, insulates and soundproofs very well. And it's really comfy and cozy. The whole building is heated by geothermal energy from radiant floor heating. And another supplement heating is a propane um, fireplace, we, which we use sometimes to just keep it a little bit cozier, which we actually have on right now. Luckily, the owner of this straw bale cottage, her name is Condi. She's incredible just such a welcoming host and she even wrote a book about her experience building this we'll have the link uh, to the airbnb in the description below so please go ahead and check that out um, she is such a fantastic inspiring person it's very very difficult for her to get permission to build this and we really admire her willpower and determination and making her dream happen and it's beautiful we have a beautiful 43 acres out there that you can hike and wonderful birds there's deer there's all kinds of wildlife and yeah highly recommend coming here if you can Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Okay. So I want to start off with doing some cleansing, smoke cleansing. Inserting a few pieces of cedar into the sweet grass. So this property is abundant, teeming with cedar, which is very charming for me. Cedar is one of my favorite plants. Close your eyes and breathe in this wonderful smoke. Precious sweet grass and cedar.
little bit of cedar stuff. Brush out your hair. Don't detangle it before you go to bed. Are you already falling asleep? All right. Today we're just going to provide Monica with a neck and shoulder massage. focusing on the neck because she mentioned that she's been having some pain there and not the best posture lately. So now we're going to just apply a little bit of massage oil. the chin. muscles as well as the lev levator scapulae and the rhomboids. A little bit of the serratus muscles. You can just relax my
Let me know if it's too much pressure. Massage a little gentler, okay? How does that feel? Okay. I'm actually going to apply a little bit of a bit of this THC and CBD oil, which luckily is legal in Canada. And this one is lavender. I'm curious to see how this would feel for you, Monica, because I think it's your first time trying it. It is incredibly relaxing for the muscles. It'll just help to really get them to release any tension. The lavender also helps in terms of aromatherapy to reduce anxiety and promote relaxation. So. How does that feel? Nice. Okay. Very gentle. Let me support you. How's that? Better? Okay. All right, so let me just tie up your hair. I'll twist it up. Thank you. 
we're going to be applying some acupressure. So the first point I would like to find is urinary bladder 10. In order to find this, we're going to find the trapezius muscles along the neck and to go all the way up, just lateral, to these muscles and then point five tsun into the posterior hairline. So it's right over here. This point is really good for relieving neck pain, neck rigidity, and expelling wind, which if wind is trapped in this area, it can be incredibly painful. And in Chinese, this point is called Tian Zhu. Deep breath here, okay? Okay, great. And the next point is actually quite close to it. Skull bladder 20. If you find the base of the skull, so just rolling off the external occipital protuberance, which is this area that protrudes out, move down until you find the base of the skull. And then you just move to the side right here. And it's right between the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius. There's a depression right here. So we'll start on the right side. Does that hurt? Okay. This will really help you release any neck tension, okay? Deep breath in and out. Great. Okay, and now finding that same point on the left side, finding the base of the skull. And then moving laterally where you will find a depression in between the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscle right here, that's called bladder 20. Okay, let's take a few deep breaths in and out, okay? So inhale. And exhale. One more time, okay? Inhale. And exhale. Just releasing anything, any pain, any tension, anything that's not serving you, okay? Good. Good. Very good. How are you doing? Okay. All right, and now we just have one more point that I think is really important because, well, if we're working on the upper trapezius, we should probably work on some of the lower portions as well. So we're going to work on gallbladder 21, which is one of my favorites, highest point of the shoulder. So area right here. I think it's also important to work on the lower parts of the trapezius because um, this entire muscle is connected, right? So let's find gallbladder 21. 
and you're just gonna press down. I want you to take a deep breath in, okay? And exhale. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Oh, good, 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 good. Very well done. I know it's not always comfortable, but it helps. All right, I want you to just let your shoulders drop, okay? Take a deep breath in. And then I want you to just drop them. Let them drop. There you go. Good. Okay, great. Great. Okay. All right, my dear. I got you. Brush out your hair, okay? In honor of all the birds that call this land home, including a number of different woodpeckers, chickadees, blue jays, cardinals, there's just so much wildlife here and so many birds and um, we even have a little bird statue here. Yes, I am obsessed with this place and how many birds are here. As many of you might know, I have very strong spiritual connection with the Golden Eagle. And so um, I'm very pleased to be here. So we're going to do some feather work, okay? So Marika, my wish is that the spirit of the bird inspires you to dream big, to fly high. And to practice mindfulness wherever you may be. To sing, to dance. Very rare for us to hear any traffic noises here. I think that was the first one in the cottage. That's the second one.
May the spirit of the bird enlighten you. So Marika is quite tired, so we'll um, finish it off with a very soothing scalp massage, okay? I'll just... It's honestly been such a treat living here for the past few days and we have tonight and then one more night afterwards. So here we are unplugged from our devices and every day we go on at least three walks out in the nature trails. And we've been building a snow shelter. It just really ignites the young child in you. It brings the child up to play, which hasn't been happening for me in a while, to be honest. Both Marika and I are very inspired to live out in the country. Both of us have really only lived in the city for most of our lives. It's quite a different experience being out here. And we're very inspired also to build a natural home such as the Strawville Cottage. Perhaps we can also explore other, th other models. If we wanted to explore cob, cordwood, yurts. So we're going to be taking you all out on a natural home tour around Canada and we have so many eco villages and communities to explore as we embark on this journey ourselves to live more harmoniously and connected with the land to live lightly on the land and to become stewards to reduce our consumption to be mindful of our carbon footprint, to give back as much as we can to Mother Earth and to our communities. That is our dream, isn't it? And I hope that we can inspire you to do the same in any way, shape, or form that may take for you in connecting with the land. Would you like to share any words? All right. Let me just do a bit of traction, okay?
so that is the end of the video again wishing you all a wonderful night beautiful dreams and i'll see you again in the next video